Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. My name's Dean and today, well you guys know my propensity for you know mole bags and uh, kits. So this is a kit of a different color and even though it's all green uh, the color of this kit is essentially brown. Yeah. So this is actually something I threw together. It may not um, be of this same type next time I use it, but um, this is a latrine kit because it's actually important in the bush. So what I've got in here is something interesting. Um, this is a Condor general purpose pouch and normally I've actually been using them but normally I will in the front pocket here I will probably put some uh, latex gloves or nitro gloves keep your hands clean in case you have to be digging the other things that are in here it's quite simple so really what we've got is there's a little divided panel in there um, you pick these up this is one of your options this is tissue on the go. That's basically a small portable toilet paper roll. Good for a few outings. You can pick them up also for your travel kit and travel kit section of Walmart. Um, because tissue paper is important. I know some guys don't use it, some guys do. That's your personal preference. If you want to wipe your butt with pine cones, be my guest. I am not of that mindset. The other thing you want, and you can get little plastic ones of these, you can go all the way up to a Gerber, um, you know, one of the big Gerber shovels or army shovels. But this is all I need. It does take a bit of getting used to because it does snap in there pretty good. This is just a little trowel. I think it was six bucks or so from Lee Valley Tools. That's all you need. I prefer this to plastic. However, that's one thing I'll say. I'll prefer this to plastic because, hey, metal doesn't break in cold weather as much. Unless you're in really cold weather, then you got other problems in pooping. But yeah, a little trowel. Comes with this little bag as well. I tend to keep that with me. And a little nylon. You can put this on your belt if you want. It's got a little nylon belt pouch. I'm thinking for the nature of what this trowel does, I'm not putting it on my belt. Nope. So I usually wrap it in something. In this it goes. It's not getting over all over everything. Just always make sure you clean it well when you're done. Like I said, you can get the little trowel plastic ones for a buck or two. Up to, I've seen the plastic trowels go for eight bucks. But this and the gloves and a bit of hand sanitizer, which is going in the front pouch as well. It's a pretty decent little uh, latrine kit. I know, it's a touchy subject. People tend to worry about that stuff. Some people tend to get turned off by it. Hey folks, the queen does it. It's a part of life. Nice thing is too, um, just a little comment about the pouch. This is a really cool little pouch. I got this from a company at Edmonton called Capital Airsoft. Um, I helped them set up their Condor pouch displays. In fact, and boy, actually, shout out to Jeff and the guys. That was really, really fun. I actually wound up walking away with a, or not walking away, I wound up buying a bit of the gear. So, you know, go on the shelf, and I'll be, oh, take that back, I want that. It was Capital Airsoft, wonderful Edmonton company for this kind of stuff. And very, very reasonable in price. So, yeah, nice thing is you can fit this on the outside of your pack as well. You can put it on your belt if you need. But if you got molly attachments, this will fit on the outside of the pack, preferably somewhere down low. Okay, well, you know, that's about as much as I want to talk about this topic. So, there you go. 
anyone has any suggestions, please do it discreetly and kindly in the comment section. All right, so this has been another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. I want to thank everyone for watching. My name's Dean. Take care and good day.